In this video, we are going to be talking about the dinosaur Platysaurus. Platysaurus lived from 214 to 204 million years ago in the late Tress period. It was the fifth dinosaur to be named. Platysaurus means broad lizard. Now, something unusual about Platysaurus is that it didn't really have a uniform size. It's been seen at 16 feet and also at 33 feet. So it's not really known if it had any uniform size. This could be different species, but it's unlikely. It weighed anywhere from 1,000 to 8,800 pounds. It had an upright build, which is similar to the Iguanodon, though they were not related. It is in the group called the prosauropod group, which is not related to sauropods. This, the prosauropods died out. It was probably a grayish brown color, and its front legs were more arm-like than its back legs, which means it was probably bipedal when it was normally walking around, though it probably was on all fours when it was eating low-lying ferns. It had 58 teeth, 28 in the lower jaw, 30 in the upper jaw. Platysaurus has been discovered all over Europe, and including the British Isles and North Africa. It probably lived in plains, forests, uplands, and swamps. It was a very adaptable dinosaur, meaning pretty much any environment it could live in quite comfortably. Platysaurus probably ate ferns, conifer trees, and shrubs. Small animals, such as lizards, have been found in its stomach area, which means it may possibly have been omnivorous. It was not a herd dinosaur, but it may have lived in family groups like gorillas or zebras. The main reason why Platysaurus died out was because many dinosaurs, especially the carnivorous ones, got bigger, and it wasn't able to defend itself. At the end of the Triassic, many of the large reptiles that lived on land that weren't dinosaurs that had been oppressing them died out so dinosaurs could really take over. The environment changed, as did the plants. Platysaurus wasn't able to adapt. When carnivorous dinosaurs would attack it, it really didn't have too many defenses other than its sheer size. It didn't have any physical features like bones, like armor. It didn't have a good tail. It wasn't fast either, so it didn't, there wasn't really much they could do. Most Platysaurus have been discovered in Germany, and interestingly enough, in the North Sea, oil drillers found a Platysaurus skeleton 7,000 feet below the seafloor, which shows how the continents moved around so much over the millions of years. It was first discovered in 1834. There is a theory called the mud miring trap. Of all the Platysaurus discovered, there's been about 100 individuals. However, the vast majority of those are adults, which is unusual. One of the ideas that have been put forth is that there were large flats of mud that the platysaurus would walk over. The adults weighed a lot more than the younger ones, so they would sink through, which is why also we don't see really any carnivores, so it's not like the La Brea tar pits. Because the carnivores, if you look at a carnivore's feet, the three toes of the theropod, it is somewhat like a snowshoe, unlike Platysaurus, which had more horse-like feet. So they would have sunk in through, but the carnivores could still scavenge off of them without having to worry about falling through. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a lot to make more videos like this. Have a wonderful day.